Oh no, he's dangling a carrot. Oh my fucking god. It's me, Mario. Mamma mia. Guys, Instagram used to be a place full of cute, wholesome cat videos. And now it's just become an absolute gangbang. So let's have a look. I don't really scroll Instagram, so let me just see what Instagram suggests me. All right, when your boyfriend woke up before you. Okay, this is, this is, I mean, this is, um, I... Vater unserem Himmel, dein Reich komme, dein Wille geschehen. I thought I was gonna get a hot chicks on my For You page or stand up comedy, which I do, but I think I follow too many porn stars. No, it's just this guy getting absolutely, um, yeah, destroyed. I wonder who's back there. Is it Malik? Is it Malik Delgadi? I don't bottom. Instagram is, okay, OnlyFans right there. Some people just have the balls and I don't, you know? Yeah, good for him. Does this ever happen to you? Oh my God. Oh my fucking God. What is happening? <laughs> this is so fucking dramatic. This could be Jeff and myself, I feel like. This could be us. Oh my god. No, this happens. I mean, Jeff would try to grab me and then he'd be like, no, fuck, 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 fuck. There's, there's, you know, there's not much to hold on to. Let's put it that way. I talk about bromance a lot. I think, you know, bro should help each other out. Have I teabagged Jeff? Yes. Four or five times, you know? But we can do that as bros. Riley saved some of these for me to react to. I've never seen these. Let's uh, have a look, huh? What do you do if an attacker suddenly <sighs> chokes you? Okay, we're okay. gonna run this one in real time. Got my Martial here. arts. As the attacker, whenever you're ready. Oh, that's daddy choked me harder! <laughs> Martial arts are scary. <laughs> they will never be as scary as your attacker's gay panic. That's a fucking great point. What are the chance of a gay guy attacking you? Has there ever been an aggressor? I mean, except for like maybe sexual harassment. Actually, now that I think of it, yeah, there's been a lot. I usually get attacked in West Hollywood by gay people. People grab my dick. And if I then go, daddy, choke me harder, they will just choke me harder. This is great if you get attacked in not West Hollywood, then you're golden. What about this I've one I've heard here? about this hanger thing. Hanger that thing? That it makes your head move. Makes your head move? Oh my God, what the fuck? I remember this what the fuck? Oh, 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 oh. What the f- <laughs> Yeah, bro, stay away from hangers. Would you rather suck 10 dicks one time okay. or one dick 10 times and why? Hmm. Hmm. It's a very serious question. No, that's a fucking good question. Yeah. Well, let's <laughs> break this shit down. Question. You suck the same dick 10 times, that indicates some level of commitment. Okay. And that's fucking gay. So, okay. 10 dicks. <laughs> Honestly, I would suck. Uh, I. Uh, mm, no, I would. Uh, mm. From a cleanliness standpoint, I would suck the one dick. This is a hypothetical scenario, by the way. <laughs> you can also, like, you can still be straight, you know, because it's one dick. It's one, it's one dick. Like, how many dicks until you get? You know what I mean? You can still claim the, the, the straight label. You know, one dick and. You just suck the dick. Like, three dicks. That's when you kind of gay, you know what I mean? So one dick, one dick is fine. On the other hand though, I think sucking 10 dicks would be interesting from a scientific standpoint. Cause I'm fascinated by dicks, maybe because of my For You page, cause of what they keep feeding me. If I can suck 10 dicks, I have a good understanding of the girth, weight, density of 10 dicks, which makes me a more well-rounded human as a scientist and for statistics. Yeah, maybe I should do it one day. Yeah. Hmm. I actually eat hella and we're gonna see what eat I eat a today. Lot. Come on. We're starting with three Eggo French toasts. Yo, so much gluten I can't. Two egg sandwiches with two eggs in each one. You After know, he looks like the guy from the Doctor, away. Doctor Strange that is like possessed in the first thing. This Wawa quesadilla. Yo, he eats so much gluten now I can't believe it. This blueberry bread. Also, it's one carrot a day that keeps the doctor away. Strawberry cheesecake donuts. I'm still skinny. Stay mad. I think that's good for body positivity, but also it's a weird flex, you know what I'm saying? Let's see the comments here. It's probably like super controversial. Eat some vegetables, dude. Absolutely, eat some vegetables. I don't want to sound like fucking Joe Rogan right here, but I fucking agree. I eat fucking meat. Like I need a big steak, you know what I mean? If you hunt it yourself, even better. People think I'm vegan or something because I eat so many carrots, but I eat carrots with stick. Carrots and stick, that's my thing. Try it out. People always ask me about like why I love carrots so much because they are crunchy. They're always there for you. They're low in calories. They're healthy. They sound sexy as fuck. You like that? Oh, you like that? Mmm. And they're always hard. And then we have Reno fucking gold. Yo, Reno is a DJ now? Oh my god. My, oh my, oh my god. Was he like, is he just not wearing anything right now? Oh my god. Is everybody a DJ now? What's happening in the world? I wanna see a set. 
Not that I care about the music, but it seems like he's putting on a fucking show. We just went to Coachella. Coachella! Coachella! By the way, my favorite set was um, Eric Pride's Opus, the second drop played here. It was fucking incredible. But all the DJs in Berlin, you know I go to like a lot of techno clubs, they're all so serious, they're just like... In a, in a Berlin bunker with like fucking metal crowbars, dangerous shit, and people just like Germans just like dancing like this, you know, with their jaws and shit. They don't have any emotion, and then Reno Gold is the opposite, so I'm not used to it, but I love it. I love it. Reno Gold. Let's see what else has been posting lately. Goddamn, see my- that's why my For You page is so gay, because I- Reno Gold. Is he gonna shoulder press him? Oh my god. Alright, let's see this one here. 1.9 million views, Reno. Oh no, he's dangling a carrot? In front of Reno, oh my god. Can, can we have a replay on that? Can we have a replay on the... Yo, I'm sure people watch this shit like, oh my god, he's so... Vater unserem Himmel, geheiligt werde dein Name, dein Reich komme. Holy shit, Reno fucking gold. Once again, Reno knocked it out of the fucking park. He's just a natural dude. I had him on the podcast so many times, check out some of the conversations. That's just something that only Reno Gold can do. That's how we do it. Weird American pronunciations. Part one. Authority. Authority. Mortal. Mortal. <laughs> water. Water. Universal healthcare. Liberal <laughs> pig motherfucker. <laughs> I saw that coming, but it's true. Healthcare, what the fuck? Healthcare is for vegans. That's right. I just love the logic in America. That like everything is about labels, right? So like, like I see this in America all the time where people go like, oh yeah, no, um, you, you didn't get the vaccine. Oh, you hate trans people. I'm like, hold on. Let's see this one, 650K views. Reno making out with two guys who are just, you know, they're just hanging out at a, just hanging out at a pool. You know what I mean? They're just like, kind of like what Mario and Luigi are doing. It's <laughs> just like hanging out. Mamma mia. Oh my God. I mean, come on, this is like, this is, in, this is intense and I, I could be that other dude. I wouldn't look as, you know, muscular, but I could be that dude. And I would have 1.1 million views, but, you know, it is what it is. Instead, I make stand-up comedy clips. But, but, on the funny note, one of my stand-up clips just went viral on Instagram. How about we react to that one? This is my stand-up clip. I got clip. circumcised when I was 18 years old. Yeah, I got circumcised. You get stitches on your dick. And I remember one moment when I went to the movie theater with my mother. I'm wearing jeans. I would go to pee. And I closed the zipper off my jeans. The stitches of my got stuck in the zipper of my pants. I know, I know. We talk about trauma, so here it is, here it is. And in that moment of helplessness, there's only one thing a man can do, which is you ask your German mother for help. So my mom walks in and helps me get the stitches out of the zipper of my pants. And I realized my mom had not seen my since I was like four years old. And there's a moment when she looked at me, we locked eyes. She looked at me and she was like, son, it's like nothing's changed. So that's when I learned that I'm a five-year-old. Yeah, that is a true story, guys. People are like, in the comments, people are saying like, Mario, this is not real. Like, how are you not wearing underwear after procedure? But yeah, I was wearing, like, the, they put me in a little, like, diapers or something like that, and I was not supposed to wear underwear. So it was just, like, exposed there. And looking back, I kind of regret being circumcised now at 19 years old because... <sighs> I'm just not special anymore, you know? All the people here in the US, I see all these like circumcised sheep, right? Everybody's circumcised here. So I thought I could be the one guy, the fucking outlier, the rebel, the one, the chosen one with an uncircumcised penis. I could be more European, but now I'm just a basic ass American, white, kale eating, steak eating, carrot eating loser. Oh, also guys, I would love to see you guys and meet you in person at one of my stand-up shows. I'm going to New York. We're going on tour to Houston, Austin, Texas. I think that's all the same place. <laughs> I'm not going with geography, okay? So click the link below right now. I open an email newsletter. You can sign up and get tickets with discounts for when I come to your city. MarioAdrian.com. Link down below. Oh my God, no, it's the POV sound again. Oh my God, it's our elevator boys. <laughs> this is hilarious. This is hilarious, man. Oh my god. <laughs> this is similar to the one I did, because this was a trend for a minute, you know? And I did a uh, spoof of that one with Jeff Caster. Let's have a look right now. Yeah, he's in it. Run into the, yeah. I thought it was funny. This is my interpretation of it, all right? And again, I wish on TikTok I could do this stuff. I wish I could just be a cute boy, but I think I'm just getting too old for that, man. Just getting too old? I have to start wearing clothing now? 
I had to make an announcement on Instagram because I am doing stand up now and I can't be a whore online anymore. And it's sad. A lot of things are changing, especially on this channel. Subscribe. I love you. Join the Carrot Kingdom. This is why prostate exams scare okay, it's me. It's okay. Just relax. Relax. It's gonna be a quick one. Okay. All right. Well, here we go. Oh my god. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. This is wild. Yeah. Not bad, right? Not it's bad. It's kind of hot, actually. Yeah, I'm proud of you. Good job. <laughs> Is this how it works? I've never had a prostate exam. What age should you get a prostate? I should probably get it done. You know what? I should get it done and make a YouTube video about it. How about that, guys? If I do anything in life that's uncomfortable, I want to make sure to milk it for content. All right? All right. Oh my God, he's so good. I wish I could dance like that, even just a little bit. Oh my God. If I could do that just in any, oh my God. This dude looks like so masculine. He looks like gay Thor, all right? <laughs> That's your dude. I mean, look at the foot, look at the footing. Like no straight man has ever had that foot stance. Never ever in the history of straight men, right? I wish I'd say, you know, see what your talents are, you know? If I, if I had like a big, <laughs> if I had dancing skills, I'd be a TikTok. If I had a big schlong, I'd be calling green or gold. I don't have any of that, so I gotta do what I'm doing and watch people do this and while eating carrots, you know? That's my job. Oh my fucking god! What in the fucking what? You know this makes me mad because I I have a photo like this too, but like it's not as fuck. The veins are pumping. Veins like they bring blood to something, right? Let's put it like that. A Toyota Prius doesn't need a lot of fuel. However, a G6 airplane they need a lot of fuel. What I'm saying is that this guy is probably not driving a Prius down there. I'm trying to say that he's got a big. Was it two in the nose? There we have Jockey Pizza again! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, fucking fuck, I've seen this one before. Why does it pop up again? He's so smooth, I can't with this guy. Fuck! This one here. Oh my god, Una Bomba! That thing has its own zip code. <laughs> By la sexy es una bomba. If I did it, it would be like, es una bing. Here he let his hair down for a second. Look at that. This whole TikTok is just him standing up, smiling, chewing gum, and the mustache. Fuck. Man, this mustache, like, I as a German could never wear this mustache. Because it makes me look a little too German. If you know what I mean. Maybe Stand up. Out to his I'm mom, a, his a gay roommate. A nice Jewish lady, but he didn't want to come out to his dad because his dad's an angry German guy. So it's like he came out of the closet, but he's still in the attic. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. We truly live in a society. If you put your hand up like this, society won't say anything. But if you turn it upside down, we truly <laughs> live in a society. It's been so ingrained in me as a German to not lift up my right arm like this. Like, I do it sometimes in, in stand up sets where I'm talking about, like, you know, something like this, and I'm always so self conscious of this. And the whole, like, Holocaust thing is so ingrained in our brains as Germans. It is wild. All right, DM for a shout out. What the fuck is happening? Beard buddy. I thought my buddy Teddy Bear Grew was hairy, but this dude takes to the next fucking level. I can't believe that this is on Instagram. We have to crop this and censor it because it goes down and you, you have a good idea of like his. I'm gonna follow this dude for sure. Well, Sexual positions it's man a hates. Piece. I can't say I regret buying it. <laughs> That's so hilarious. Mm, well. Sexual positions that I hate, I don't like when I'm on the bottom because I'm such a natural alpha male. It feels like I'm not as erect. I come so fast. So I'm pretty much just like missionary. I'm a such a vanilla guy, but I'll admit it. What the fuck you is this? Siaga, Harry. What the fuck is even happening? This is so creepy in so many ways, but very captivating. What is the difference, Potter, between H&M and Balenciaga? There is no good and evil. There is only Balenciaga. And those too weak to seek it. <laughs> My god, I'm wearing Balenciaga shoes and I have a whole new... I feel like I'm part of some cult. I feel like that sometimes, you know? I feel like a douchebag a lot of the times, but I, these Balenciaga shoes are so fucking comfortable. I'm in the Balenciaga family, but I'm nowhere near as cool as, you know, AI Dobby right here. After the break, we're going to interview Eric Weihenmayer, who climbed the highest mountain in the world, Mount Everest. Mount Everest. But he's gay. I mean, he's gay, excuse me, he's blind. 
So we'll hear about that. <laughs> As we head to the break, a look at the six o'clock. <laughs> oh my God, he's gay and blind. Same thing, bro. Same thing. I can't believe. <laughs> Girls got a gram, okay? Oh my fucking god, that scared the shit out of me! This one got me, I have nothing to say about this. Did it get you too? What do your parents think you do in Berlin? What the fuck is even happening, security? They all look so serious. That's the thing in Berlin, like, see all these people. Look at this guy, zoom in at this guy. He looks so fucking serious. I'm not doing stand-up in Germany because I'm picturing a stand-up comedy show in Germany. It's gonna be like, people are gonna lose their mind. It's gonna be a punchline and people are just gonna be like, Very funny. Guys, if you want to see more reaction videos, please subscribe. Check out my comedy tour dates. I fucking love you. Stay crunchy, and I'll see you next week. Wee!